picture this. It's 2005, a funny sounding Danish dude named DHH. Hey everyone, uh, I'm David Heinemeyer Hansen. Is giving a talk at a conference and he's showing people live on stage how to build an entire blogging system in 15 minutes. And how does he do it that quickly? Normally this would take years and a whole team of people. It's because he built a framework called Ruby on Rails that's specifically designed to help you build websites really quickly. A year later, Twitter happened. Twitter just came out of nowhere. How did they do that? It's because they were the first really famous website to use Ruby on Rails. Now, you wanna build a website really quickly. What do you need? Well, you need the front end or the back end. And there's three front end languages, one back end that you need to know. If you wanna build a website, I highly recommend starting with Ruby on Rails as your back end language. Why is that? Three main reasons why you should learn Ruby on Rails as your backend language. Number one, it's super easy for a beginner to learn. There's a ton of beginner resources out there and a really huge supportive community that is really open to new developers. Number two, there are a lot of jobs for Ruby on Rails developers. It's one of the highest paying developer positions you can get because a lot of startups need a developer and as a Ruby on Rails developer, you can do a lot with just one person. And finally, number three, some of the biggest websites in the world currently use Ruby on Rails. Sites like Hulu, Groupon, SoundCloud, Airbnb, Codecademy, Kickstarter, Indiegogo. The site that you're on right now is built in Ruby on Rails. What? So get started today. Check out the resources below.